Ah, oh, good morning. Um, you're the first one here, I'm afraid. A first for you, I'm sure. I see. By the by, Asahi, you wouldn't happen to know where Ray Ray got off to, would you? Me? You don't, then, as I figured. What happened? I believe it was around two in the morning. I took my eyes off him for just a moment and he disappeared. He left money for his tab, but then vanished on me. He's not answering his phone either. Was he okay to leave? I mean, if he was drunk, he could be in real trouble. That's one of my many concerns. His face yesterday looked the same as it did that fateful day. Which day? Three years ago. I swear he had this look in his eyes that made me think I would never see that man again. Three years ago was... The day before he fled the DAB. It was the look of a man terrified to his core. All because of the delusions he'd seen. Watching the freedom fighters vanish before his eyes must have triggered that same fear from deep within. Ray Ray has been afraid of the delusions for a long time. Much more afraid than any of you ever were. Tell me about him. I will, but only if you promise not to tell Ray Ray I spilled the beans. Back then, Ray Ray was obsessed with his research. He felt he could harness delusions to make the world a happier place. Every time he spoke of it, his eyes would light up with hope and wonderment. One day, he happened upon my establishment, and he'd brought a young lady along for the ride. Hey. Don't you think you've had enough? Enough schmanuff. I've earned it. Got one step closer to my dream today, and alcohol just brings me closer still. Best case I've ever heard for alcoholism. Besides, you've got a lot of people's hopes on your shoulders. Ah, come on. It's not that big of a deal. Besides, there's plenty of people way more valuable than me in there. Like Yuki, you mean? Oh, yeah. Kasuga's a pretty big deal. Lately, he's been acting kind of... strange. How so? He's just been really pissy. About everything. <laughs> like what? Like... a lot of things. Though I guess he does have a lot going on. You two both act like such children sometimes. I know you are, but what am I? Excellent rebuttal. But if you really are an adult, I want you to promise me one thing. Yeah? Promise me you'll act like one. One worthy of me. Hey, is something wrong? With Kasuga, you mean? No, silly, with you. You've been working yourself ragged lately. I have to. And why is that? What is so important that you need to work yourself to death over it? What are you trying to do? I'm taking on a new project, and then I'm sure I'll be able to... Something wrong? What do you think? You never come home at all anymore. I guess I don't. Is this new project of yours that important? Well, we just don't have a lot of time. We don't have enough time. Are you even listening? Uh-huh. Well, if you can answer me, then you're at least comprehending my words on some level. That's a start. So, how's it going? Have you made much progress on the visualization device? It's not done, if that's what you're asking. But it's going well, isn't it? No. No, it's not. I don't think I can do it. I can't... Why not? I don't know. I, I don't know. I probably don't even want to know. After that, Ray Ray made himself scarce for a while. He left Akihabara and left the DAB. So that visualization device was... Being developed because he wanted to know. He wanted to know if Mari Tojo was real, or just his delusion. But he couldn't get it working. And that was more than he could stand. So he had no idea what was real and what was delusion. 
Which means it's entirely possible that his beloved doesn't exist. There's not a man or woman alive who could bear that. But he came back. With all the rumors of the delusion contractor and the DAB on the move, it became possible for him to see her again. So he returned, in the hopes of determining once and for all whether Mari Tojo was real or simply his delusion. That's the only thing keeping Ray Ray going these days. So when the Freedom Fighters disappear right before his eyes... Exactly. Which is also why he acted so coldly towards you and your friends. Hold on. I think I'm missing a few links in this logic chain here. I think all of you hit him a little too close to home. You're all mirrors of his former self. He feared that you'd be overwhelmed by delusions, lose those close to you, and become obsessed like he did. And he desperately wishes not to see that happen to you. Think of it as his own unique brand of compassion. <laughs> He's never really been one for tact or social graces, exactly. I can tell. If I know Ray Ray, he's still searching for his answer, even now. He intends to find it all by himself, without dragging anyone else in with him. Too bad. I'm going after him. Do you think you can find him? I think I can try. No matter the reason, he's saved all our butts before. That's not delusion. That's fact. And what he's gone through seems like it's a lot worse than what we have. So I want to make sure he has help. Very well. If Saki and the others drop by, I'll let them know you're off to save the day. But please, give the search a little extra push for me. Not just for Ray Ray, but for the answer he seeks, too. Don't worry. I will. Well, 
If it isn't Master Asahi. Today's another beautiful day, isn't it? In weather like this, I just want to yell out to passersby, go to the beach or something, you dumbass! Oh yeah, this has happened before, which means... I've been looking all over for you, young miss. <laughs> yep, right on cue. So this is where you've been hiding, eh? Come now, it's time to go home. Master Asahi, hit the bricks! Sorry, dude, but I'm with her. Later! W wait, please! Hold on. This spot should be fine. He won't come looking for you here. How do you know that? I know everything. I know you're part of the Makishima family, too. What? But who exactly are the Makishimas, Nana? And what's their deal? You... you know everything? No, I don't. That's why I'm asking. I want to hear the full story straight from the horse's mouth. I... I see. Will you tell me? Will you promise... Promise never to breathe a word of this to anyone. Yeah, you have my word. Okay, my real last name is Makishima. Nana Nanao is the alias I use when I'm working at the maid cafe. And the Makishima family is... On the surface, we run a karate dojo. But that's just a front. Because we're actually a Yakuza family. Yakuza? So that's why those DVD pirates got so skittish when I mentioned the name Makishima. So if you're a Makishima yourself, that means... Yep. I'm the daughter of a crime boss. The pieces are all falling into place now. All I ever wanted was to be normal. So I left home and started working at the maid cafe. Which means you're... A runaway, yes. I've never once been back home since. And the guy who's come to take you back is... Allow me to field that one. I'm the underboss of the Makishima clan. Huh, would you look at that? He found us after all. She's it, Master Asahi! Young miss, are you gonna continue running like this? I'm... If you persist in evading us, you do realize your father will remain forever alone in his suffering. As far as I'm concerned, I don't have a father. Please, your father's been in the hospital for quite some time now. A visit from you would mean the world to him. What are you talking about? I see. So he hasn't contacted you, then. There's much infighting among the heads of the clan, as each is vying for the seat your father left when he fell ill. Oh boy. A mafia power struggle. Goody. I beg of you, visit your father. Accept his wish for you to succeed him as the head of the clan. <sighs> Young miss, I'm on my knees. Metaphorically. Where is this power struggle occurring, exactly? Where? Well, it's... In Akihabara? Yes, in Akihabara. You should have opened with that. I'll put an end to this dispute. So you'll take the mantle from your father, then? Let's not get ahead of ourselves here. I only said I'd put an end to the infighting, and that's all I plan to do. Where in Akihabara is everything going down? In the station plaza. That's all I need to know. Master Asahi, thank you for everything. Nana? This wonderful town of Akihabara allowed me to meet you, and you and I have had some really great conversations. I'm so happy that you accepted me as Nana Nanao, but now I go off to meet my destiny. Wait just a minute, Nana. You can't just up and leave me like this. Take me with you. I don't know how much help I'll be, but I mean to quote a tired aphorism, I'll do my best. Master Asahi. Come on, Nana. Let's kick some ass. 
Roger that. For a fight? It's the Tsuchidas that'll be taking over the Makishima family. You head on too tight, buddy? The Iwama faction's gonna be running things, so don't quit your day job. Say that to my face, why don't you? Not good. Looks like things are about to blow. I'll take care of this. You Tsuchidas better back the hell off. Or do us a favor and burn your own houses to the ground. Save us the work. It's you Iwamas who need to step off. You're a disgrace to the Makishima name. We'll crush all you bastards in one go! Not on my watch, you won't! Holy... That voice, is that... the young miss? Why the hell is she here? Why? That's a silly question. Because I'm the maid of love and peace. Na 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 now! That's why! The young miss? Na 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 now? That's right. Na 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 now! Maid extraordinaire! And I've come to protect Akihabara. Coming into my house and fighting like you own the place? That I cannot abide. But, young miss... What did I just say? I'm not the young miss. You will address me properly. <laughs> Honestly, do you friggin' losers have no shame at all? Holding your damn pissing contest in a busy station plaza? N -n no, young miss. It's not like that. A damn guys are the ones who started... Where the hell is your honor? This is no place for mob warfare. Use your brains if you got any. <coughs> this is a town where people's dreams are made into realities. So don't you be bringing your baggage into this hood. Anyone got a problem with that? You step up now. Step up to the streets. <sighs> you morons have 10 seconds to slink back into your hidey holes before I get all serious up in here. Our humblest apologies, young miss. We'll, uh, rethink our lives a little. I think that just about did it. And that just about did it for my maid career, too, unfortunately. A whole lot of people saw this all go down. Oh, I don't think you really need to worry about that. Huh? Why not? Well... Maybe let me explain that one. It'll be quicker that way. Oh, Sharko. Hiya, folks. How you feeling? You two know each other? Oh, yeah. Sharko's been offensive to our family for years. I've been offense, not offensive. Not on purpose, anyway. But yeah, I just finished fixing up your dad if you care. Seriously? He poured some serious cash into the development of a miracle cure. Wasn't easy, but it sure did the trick. D damn But that ain't why I'm here. I got a message from the old man. Come with me. You too, neat freak. Come with you where? To the Might Club on Main Street. Might Club? Sharko, don't tell me you... You betcha. With all the ducats I made from your dad, I was able to buy this place up. Hook, line, and sinker. I'll show you in. Yeah. <laughs> 
So what exactly is this place? The Mike Club. Yep, an underground fighting arena. What? I know, sad to see it closed. But don't you worry. The young miss is gonna take it over. Those are her dad's wishes. He's saying that if you ever want to quit the maid business, he wants you to be in charge down here. That's actually not what I meant by my exclamation of, what? Here and here alone, you can fight outside the public eye. Just don't tell anyone about it. That's the first rule. You realize, though, that I don't actually want to fight. Evil Knietel here can use it freely, too, if he wants. Of course, he's got to pay the entry fee. Um, I'm good, thanks. No need to hold back. There's rewards for your troubles, you know. So, both of you, enjoy. Uh, Nana's not going to remember any of this come tomorrow. You are aware of that, aren't you? No sweat. There'll be another clerk here by then who'll let you in any time you want. Just say the word. Thanks, but this really is a hard no for me. Aw, oh, I want to go back to being a maid. This kind of place isn't for me. Father's a freaking idiot. Thank you.